Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. As you know that we are discussing the agreement module in our series and we are making the next video and in this video I am telling you that what is the process that involves the agreement and how the agreement has been taken place in the derivation. This is the crucial plan point and this point is very important for all of you that if you are studying on a syntax and syntactic theories for agreement you should know that what are the process that involve the derivation what are the process that include in the agreement operation and in this video i will tell you that that how many steps that involves when we uh, when the agreement process taken place and see what are the process that involved within the derivation while agreement operation. See, first we see that first is the feature valuation. In syntactic theory, there are two types of features. One is the interpretable feature. One features are the valued feature and other features are unvalued feature the second is the feature copying then this is the first process the feature valuation in this process we can say that the features values the one feature of the one category has been semantically valued and the other feature cannot be valued at this point and this is the first step that in this step we can say that features values that means every category has some specific value like the pronoun they has some values like it has the person features the number feature and the gender feature and we can say that two feature of they has been valued and one feature of they has not been valued the person feature of they is valued this is the process of feature valuation the person feature of they is valued but what is the unvalued feature within the they this is the gender feature that has not been yet valued at this point but it has some slots that is the unvalued feature this is the first process in this process we have a two types of feature and we indicate the two types of feature one the valued feature the other is the unvalued feature and in diagram we can present the feature like this and we can say that this is the first sentence see first they he she these are the pronouns in English. There are some properties of these pronouns. One, one type of properties of pronouns are valued that has been previously valued at initial point. They are called the feature valuation, feature valued feature like it, these have the three features, number feature, person feature, case feature and we can say that the person feature of they is third person and the all these pronouns are the third person and the second feature is that this is the the feature of they is plural the number of the they is plural the plural feature and the feature of he is singular feature the feature of she is singular feature but one thing that is very important this is the these have unvalued case feature this is the this is represent the you mean unvalued and in these two feature we don't have you because these feature are valued this is the one type of feature that is unvalued and if we talk about the tense in tense we have three features one is the tense feature that is the valued feature the second is the number feature this is the unvalued 
feature and the third is the gender feature that is also the unvalued feature and if we talk about that the first process is the feature valuation process and we can say that in this process we will represent these type of feature in some systematic way and we can check that what are the feature that are the valued feature and what are the unvalued feature of these particular categories that are involving within the derivation c we have the sentence just like this and in this sentence we say that she likes mother this is the dp and this is the tp these two involve the feature valuation process the feature of she or uh, the two types of feature one is the valued feature and one is the unvalued feature the valued feature of she is it is it is the third person singular it is the third person the person feature of she is third it is singular the number feature of is singular but it has unvalued case feature mean these two features of she has been valued and in if we talk about the t the tense and tense we have the three feature the tense feature the present tense because when t enter the derivation it has the valued tense feature but it has some unvalued feature that are the person feature you represent the unvalued feature the number unvalued feature but it has only one feature that is the valued feature this is the tense feature of t that has been valued and this process is called the feature valuation process and in this video i am tell told you that how we can represent these types of feature and this process is called the feature valuation mean here we have a feature and at this place we have the feature but they don't they don't operate within the derivation they are not doing anything at this level within the derivation here we have the feature and here we have the feature and at this level we have two types of feature and at this level we have also the two types of feature and these two types of feature are called valued feature and unvalued feature and if we have some unvalued feature then we will move towards the next operation if you want to know about this our next operation please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon and share the videos with your students and get the knowledge of linguistics thank you